time for us to go on a little walk with some portable tea. It's really lovely outside and I wanted to talk to you about my no by year updates. So I'm gonna find a little place to sit and we will have a discussion. Hello there, darlings. We are in a park by the road. It is lovely. And I don't want to lose my very expensive sunglasses or my hat or anything. So I'm going to just put my tea in my hat. So we're going to just sit here because I don't have a chair to sit in and was just taken by the, by the, you know, the hand of inspiration to talk to you at this moment about my no buy experiences over the last couple of months because I haven't made one since February. So let me give you a quick little recap and hopefully this angle is okay because you're being held by my hand and not a tripod. So I'll just make this quick. Um, in March, one of my best friends visited me from Costa Rica. She is a viola professor at the University of Costa Rica. She, she teaches viola and we were in our undergrad together and I love her to pieces. And the luthier that she bought her viola from lives right around the corner from me. His name is Hiroshi Izuka. And so every couple of years she flies out and will come stay with me or stay in a little Airbnb around the corner from me so that she can go have her viola attuned and, you know, see the doctor at um, Hiroshi, who's lovely. And I had at one point actually, side note, commissioned a viola from him, but it just didn't quite work out. And it was immediately bought by someone else. <laughs> so, um, Anyway, she came out for about a week and it was so fun to have like some special time with a girlfriend, you know. Of course, I was teaching during the week as well, but during the morning and the, and the afternoon, we got out and did fun things together. She needed to do some shopping, which of course I love doing. <laughs> and I'm sorry, I'm annoying. let me see if I can move. I'll move. Okay, we have relocated. It's just, it's just busy today. It's a busy day in the park with people working and picnicking and doing fabulous things. So we will just do the same, despite the noise. So I was talking to you about how my friend visited from Costa Rica and how magical that was. It just, it had been a long time since I, especially since COVID, that I had really had some special time to connect with one of my best friends. And um, it reminded me of how important that is to have that friendship because the joy of being with like a really good friend is so fabulous. <laughs> it's so, so filling. It like filled my soul. And yes, because we went to my favorite stores, I had to buy some things. And so I guess I fell off of my no buying of things, but it was in the spirit of having fun with one of my girlfriends there's a hair there's a hair somewhere and and then in April one of my other best friends from high school got married and we went to we went down to see her along with a trip to see my other half family and it was just a really magical another experience of feeling completely filled up with joy the joy of companionship and friendship and laughing and being ridiculous and fabulous and all of that and that is such a that is such a beautiful way to kind of heal that feeling of consuming like having to consume and i noticed that in the past i would be shopping to feel because out of boredom like i would be sitting around too much not doing as doing things and so I would just like flip through my phone and, you know, online shop <laughs> out of boredom. And I have completely stopped doing that. I've completely, completely stopped doing that, which has been really nice. It's been really nice because I've been keeping very busy and I've tweaked my morning routine 
so that I actually have some time to compose in the morning. Not every morning. I don't have like a super rigid morning routine, but it's just been really nice to wake up in the morning, sing a little song, and, um, and then practice or exercise and record some things and just have that time of creativity rather than just of consuming because actually being creative is really, really fun and really exciting. And I've really enjoyed that. T taking time to go out for walks, not all the time, but I can squeeze in a few of them during the week or at least once during the week. And I'm loving practicing, I'm loving playing my instrument, I'm loving composing and just being silly with music, coming up with little phrases. Um, to put words, to put songs to, which is really funny. So, yeah, my heart is very full at the moment, just with the, the doing of things and of connecting with friends and family. So, yeah, I think I, I'm doing well with the with everything, and it's going to be a process. I'm I'm not sure I'll check in every month with this whole no buy thing, but just know that I'm continuing onwards with the the journey of that and having fun so thank you for listening <laughs> and hopefully you could hear me i'll see you soon